In this video, we're going to look at Quick Notes on the iPad. This was introduced with iPad OS 15. Let's go to my iPad. Now with the Notes app introduced with iPad OS 15, we have a new category of notes, Quick Notes. I'm going to open up my Notes app here. When we're looking at all of our notes, we have our different folders over here on the left, but if you look at the top, you're also going to see we have Quick Notes. When I tap on this, I can view all of my different Quick Notes. Now, I do not have any Quick Notes. How do we add a Quick Note? Well, one way is by going up to the new note icon in the upper right hand corner. And as long as you are viewing your Quick Notes, when you create a new note, it'll add it to your Quick Notes folder. So what is the advantage of these Quick Notes? Well, when we're in another app, we can easily add a note. Let's go over to Safari. I'm going to press in on the home button. And now we go over to Safari. I'm looking at this website and what I would like to do is create a note on it. How do we do that? Well, we use the quick notes feature. All I have to do is just go down to the lower right hand corner here. And when I swipe up, we have a quick note here. From here I can just start typing, but before I start typing, what I'm also able to do is add this link. So it's going to add this website. Let's go ahead and tap on add link. Now we can see we have my website there. And I'm just going to type in here, great site. I'm a little biased. So I'll just go great site. And then I just tap on done and I've added that quick note. So now when I go back over to my notes app, let's go ahead and open up my notes app here. You're going to see I have my quick note there. When I tap on this, I can easily open up that link. We can also do the reverse. We can go to that website that we created a quick note on and open up the note. Let's see how we do that. I'm going to go back over to Safari here. Let's close this page here. I just go up to my tab button here and we're going to tap on the X. So now that page is closed. Now let's go back over to that site. So I start typing in here, dance tutorials. I'm going to tap on the link here. And now when I swipe up from the lower right hand corner, we can see that note. Now the quick note by default will keep adding to the same note. It will not create a new quick note every time we swipe up from the bottom right. If we go into the settings app, we can change that behavior. So now I'm going to go to my settings app here. And then we go over to notes here on the left. And we have an option here for our quick notes. Again, by default, it's going to resume that last quick note. So it'll add to an existing quick note no matter what I am doing. If I go and swipe from the lower right hand corner, it's going to pull up that same quick note. What I like to do is I like to create a new quick note as opposed to resuming the last quick note. So now I just turn this off. And now when I swipe up from the lower right hand corner, instead of resuming that last note, what it does is it allows me to create a new note. So every time I swipe up from the lower right hand corner here, it's going to create a new note, a new quick note. And I'll be able to find those in my notes app. Now, once they are in your quick notes, you can move them around. I'm going to go back over to my notes app. Let's go back over to my quick notes. These quick notes are just another folder. So what I am able to do is drag these notes over to any one of my other folders. So if you no longer want to have it in your quick notes, you can move them around. It's just another folder. So that's the new quick notes feature on the iPad. This was introduced with iPad OS 15. And basically we have a new folder called quick notes. The advantage of these quick notes is we can easily create a quick note just by swiping up from the lower right hand corner. You can do this with your finger with a gesture, or if you have a pencil, an Apple pencil, you can also do it with an Apple pencil. By default, you're going to resume your last quick note. 
So every time you want to create a quick note, it's just going to add to the existing quick note. It is not going to create a new one. If you go into the settings app and go under notes, you can change that behavior and set it to not resume the last quick note. When you do that, every time you swipe up from the lower right hand corner, instead of resuming the last quick note, what it will do is it'll create a new quick note. So that's how you create a quick note in the notes app on the iPad.